Hello everyone. I apologize in advance for any sounds that may come up in the video. I'm outside, so I can't control everything, so that's how it is. I wanted to briefly touch upon a subject, an um, astrological subject, as it relates to those who feel isolated or even targeted, um, you know, astrologically. And there are different aspects of astrology that would play into this, but I want to pay specific attention to one right now, and I'm going to briefly kind of delve into it. This isn't a really deep dive. I'll do another video on that, possibly later. But with further analysis of the birth chart, my birth chart, um, and you can go ahead and find a free birth chart online, so you can get an idea if you if you resonate with astrology. And if you're on my channel, you might you might not, but if you do, this is basically an astrology video, kind of, basically, yeah. <laughs> it, it basically, yeah. I want to speak about the twelfth house. And 12th house, your moon, if you have your moon, the moon at the time of your birth, which you can find online with your birthday and your birth time, you have to know those two things, and, and location. So basically, if you have the moon in the 12th house, and the 12th house is pretty much, uh, like I said, brief, this is a brief video, I'm not going to go too deep into it due to time and other restraints. But anyways, so the unconscious mind, you know, um, isolation is called, um, it's associated with karma, someone's undoing, um, psychic abilities, mental health, addictions, again, or in, in, intuition, dream work, that sort of thing. The unknown, the unconscious, you know, that sort of so anyways, I'm wonder oh, and it's also, why I bring it up, it's also the house of unseen enemies. Um, so it's interesting because if you look at anyone who claims to be targeted, you'll find that, interestingly enough, maybe, I don't know, go ahead and look up your own birth chart. If you have a moon in the 12th house or, an, or another, you know, planetary body that might, um, coincide with this sort of isolation slash targeting of people, um, targeting of yourself through other people um, in different areas of your life. This whole idea of unseen enemies, um, psychic abilities, um, maybe not harnessing your psychic abilities, maybe that might be an issue when you're tapping into something you're hearing and feeling these sensations. You also feel people's emotions more um, in an empathetic way, also probably in a psych psychological, telepathic, emotional way. Again, I'm, I'm just briefly, I'm just, this is just a surface level talk about this. But the idea of having hidden enemies and the idea of being driven to a sort of emotional state, people trying to get an emotional rise out of you. Also people uh, that I've seen talk about that feel targeted in ways through community harassment or some kind of co um, some kind of coordinated harassment um, also have said in the past that they have felt feelings of like intense emotions like easily angered and you know you can you can definitely there are ways to balance this out and to find peace within yourself. But this idea of having volatile emotions and, yeah, it, it, just looking into it. I, my attention was really drawn to the whole idea of unseen enemies, undoing, volatile emotions, um, psychic abilities, and and the um, I'm sorry, mental health, addictions, you know, things like that. But I'm just wondering. And again, I'm not going deep into this whole analysis of the 12th house and the moon. I'm not really going that there in this video. What I wanted to do is see how many of you who have felt targeted and feel like they're being community harassed have have a placement 
the moon placement, um, you know, in the 12th house. I think that would be very interesting to see if there's that correlation. I would also say to really kind of dive deep into your uh, astrological chart, um, you might see a lot of interesting connections to your life and how you are emotionally and how you deal with others with um, what's in the stars at the time of your birth. It's really interesting. Um, it's really revealed a lot. But yeah, moon in the 12th house. Interestingly, I would like to see if if that has something to do with if a large number of people who feel targeted have that connection. Or a water, sh or a water sign even or water, uh, a planet associated with water signs in, in the 12th house, that might be interesting to see. But yeah, definitely the moon. Um, so yeah, um, feel free to to share if you want to. Definitely don't have to. Sorry about that. But the whole idea of, um, also too, of isolation, of needing to get away from people, and the way that we tend to absorb a lot of our environment and it's confusing and it, it causes a lot of a lot <laughs> it just causes a lot of confusion so I found that really interesting to look into but just, yeah I would say look into your, your natal chart and kind of really you know delve into that and see what that has for you and how you can make sense of your life and your relationship to others and 12th house right now for this video I'm just wondering how many targeted people or people who feel they've been targeted have that placement. So anyway, I'm going to go. It's getting kind of noisy. And I've said what I wanted to say. Like I said, it's not going to be a huge deep dive into that subject. Just kind of an interesting curiosity. And I might do an actual, another video on this topic. Um, I might start doing little videos, um, kind of just chatting about astrological placements as well. Nothing too deep. And maybe deeper as I go on. But definitely in relation to this, I'm like, oh, that really makes a lot of sense um, when you look into the whole attrib attributes of the 12th house and, um, and the moon and all that stuff and how that has to do with the situation you might find yourself in if you feel you've been targeted by a certain, a certain group of people or individuals or whatnot. But anyways, that's all I have to say about that video. Until next time, stay balanced. Um, try to focus and balance your emotions. Stay strong and... And just stay in your peace.